And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Dinamo Kiev, and they take on SC Paderborn. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the match begins. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Firing it towards goal. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Klaas. He continues his run. Chance to cross. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Superb effort to keep it in. Timchik. It should be! Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. And a short corner, let's see. Andrei Yarmolenko now. Could be! A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Has the strength to hang on to it. Over the touchline for a throw in. Yamalenko. Just the challenge that was required. Philip Bilbia. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can he finish this? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Can someone get on the end of this? Struggling to get it away. Philippe Bilbia. Very quick thinking there. Popov. Alexander Timchik.
An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And a long way out, and it's come off the keeper. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Andrievsky. Excellent vision. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. And teammates to play it to. Plays it back. Danger averted for now. Quite happy to sit deep, but that can have its risks. Andrievsky. Nicely timed tackle. Can they hit on the break? Kai Klefisch. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And able to get a body in the way. And so it is, the first half story has been written. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Yeah. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And nicely over the top. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kai Klefisch. He's given us away. Andrievsky. And on the ball, Bujalski. He could pick out a teammate. This looks interesting. The cut back. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here.
Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Kinsombi. Good physical play. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. And options in the centre. Well, good run this. Now, what can he do with it? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Plenty of support here. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Andrievsky. Alexander Timchik. Kinsombi. Well, it's a tall order as they try to pull one back, but their passing game might help. Obermeyer. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. Well, danger averted. Thank and a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, I dare say, sometimes, as the free-kick taker, you wish the cameras weren't rolling. Yeah, no wonder he looks embarrassed. He's way off target with that one. Pressure applied. Yarmolenko. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Denis Popov. Could play it in. Very effective pass. Just can't get it past him. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Clean challenge. Platte. It should be. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Mikola Shaparenko. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Vitaly Bujalski. Vladislav Dubinchak. The 
looked as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Yarmolenko. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Not showing good defensive judgment. Leipertz. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.